Hey there, what's going on? Kate McShay here. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can actually attach an associated website or an external annotation into your actual video so you can have annotations that are clickable that take someone over directly to a capture page or a website that you own. So stick around and I will show you in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, I am in the back office of my YouTube channel. And I just got there very easily by going to Video Manager, okay? And then what I did is I went down to Channel Settings and I go to Advanced, all right? So what you're going to do is this is where you're going to find where you put your associated website, okay? See right here. So this is basically where you drop your website that you have associated with Google, okay? So I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to go to Webmaster Tools. And I'm just going to snag this link really quick that I made associated, okay, that I got verified by Google that says, yes, I am the owner of that site, okay? If that's something you want to know more about, just let me know. Drop a comment below this video and I can always create a how-to video on how to actually get Google to accept and, um, and have you take ownership of the actual links and domains that you have, okay? So all I'm going to do is copy-paste very easily, okay, into this associated website. Um, spot and I'm going to click add. So the cool thing is now is that I am successfully um, the owner of this associated website and YouTube and Google now have accepted that. So I'm going to hit save here and I'm going to hit save here. I should be all set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually add an external annotation into your video nice and quick. So hold on just a second. Okay, so now I am back into Video Manager and I just picked one of my videos that I'm going to be actually adding an external annotation into. Okay, so I'm going to go over here into Annotations. I'm just going to hit pause on my video really quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an annotation. Okay, so here I have an annotation at the end, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to change the wording in this annotation, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, actually, you know what, I'll just make this one a little bit shorter. And now I'm gonna add a new annotation. And I'm going to do a speech bubble. I'm going to keep it nice and easy for this one. Okay, and I'm going to move it down here to the bottom. Now, if you want to know more, I can also tell you a couple of different ways to do external annotations with a couple of different kinds of annotations. So again, just comment below at the end of this video and just let me know, and I'll continue to do some more how-to training videos on this. Okay, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to create a new annotation. Okay, and I'm going to say if you want to, because my annotation is about getting leads online for your business. Click on this. I'm going to put bubble. Okay, you could do bubble, you can do annotation, you can do whatever you want. And I'm going just to see how big it is, okay? So I want this way bigger. I'm actually going to stretch it over my video just like that, okay? I'm going to make it about 16. White writing. Make it green just like that, okay? Now... Here's the important part, okay? Now this is how you add in the associated website. So you go from video all the way down to associated website, okay? And we're going to enter in our valid URL. It has to have HTTP in it, okay? Now I'm always going to preview the link to make sure that it works. So cool. Takes them right over to my capture page, okay? So the link will open in a new window, and that's it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to <coughs> just make sure that all my writing's okay, my link's all good, I already tested it, 
All right, now you could take this annotation and you could stretch it out through the whole video if you want, because remember, this annotation is gonna be clickable, okay? So people can actually click on it. Now, what I could do is I could even, you know, make another annotation that's exactly the same and put it at the beginning, um, just to make sure that those people that drop off your videos faster actually get a chance to click on your link to see your offer or to see whatever you're gonna be sending them to. Okay, but I'm gonna leave it at the end just for this one now, just for training reasons. So I'm gonna hit publish. Okay, so now it's all set and published. So I'm actually going to click on this video. Hey there, what's going on? Okay, and I'm gonna forward all the way to the end. So here's my clickable annotation, okay? So it's just popped up in my video giving them a call to action on what to do. Now watch, when they click on this, okay, so this is something they can click on, takes them right over to my capture page, or if you wanna take them to your blog or to a certain website, you can take them right over there. So that's exactly how you add in an associated website or an external annotation into your actual videos on YouTube, okay, by getting them verified through Google. So if you really like this video, if it gave you value, please make sure that number one, you subscribe to this channel, so that you can get more videos that I put out. Um, you know, I put out more, I put out some every other day, sometimes daily, as well as make sure that you like this video okay, and that you share it with your friends and comment below with your feedback so I can continue to make more training videos for you to help you build your business online. So again, this is Kate McShay. Take care and see you soon.